Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about LODs, or level of detail. It's important to note that LODs, much like light maps, can actually be automatically generated nowadays with the more modern game design engines. Still again, knowing what LODs are, how they function, and how to create them manually, still a very valid tool to have in your belt. The reason is, is because in some scenarios, you might have a centerpiece, for example, to a town hall or something like that in your game, and you may want those LODs for a statue or something of that nature to be a little bit more refined, so you may not trust or necessarily want an automatically generated LOD. In that case, you would generate your own, and this is how it works and how you'd put it together. So essentially what an LOD is, is an additional mesh that is based on your, in this scenario, our tree, but whatever it is that you're creating for a game asset. So this additional mesh, as we can see here off to the right, is a mesh that has less polygons. In this scenario, honestly, if I was going to use this tree in game, I would probably automatically generate LODs. And the reason is, is because all we really need to do for our low polygon version is apply a modifier and we would just decimate that. Okay, and as you can see that's what I've done here. And that's exactly what the game engine does. But the point of this video is to teach you the basics, so we're using what we're already working with and that's this tree. So I'll use that to demonstrate exactly what the LOD is. So essentially with an LOD you have your base mesh. Okay, and your base mesh is the mesh of the object that you will load at the closest range. Okay, so typically that base mesh would also have collision on it and things like that. As you can see we have set up here, but we went over that in the last video so there's no need to reiterate that information. So your base mesh is your most detailed version, and this one here has 187 faces to it, and it is at 122 faces, okay? So from 187 to 122. And so what happens is, Based on the distance that we are from this object, the game engine will then choose which one to render. And what that does is if we were farther away, we would render the one on the right here. And if we were closer, we would render the one on the left. And so that's essentially what our level of details are. And so the way that we create a LOD is very simple. We basically just need to take our core base mesh and create an additional version of it, which would be an LOD with less polygons or less faces. And then we would just make sure that we have that object positioned at the exact same position as our base mesh. Okay, so as we can see here, both of them have a origin point at the same exact spot. So that's not gonna cause any issues, that's very important. And as you can see here, I also have this empty. And it's called LOD Group Tree. In the description of this video, I will link you to another video I've created that tells you exactly how to change some of the code on the import export of Blender so that you can actually create LOD groups and group your LODs, LOD0 being your base mesh, 1 being our secondary, and you could have tertiaries, so you could have a third, a fourth, a fifth LOD, and the game engine would then take this grouping into consideration that we've created here and bring it into the game engine and you would have LODs based on the ones that you manually created in Blender. If you appreciate the content, you can help support this channel on patreon.com slash toxicitygamedev. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more, there's a lot to come. Peace.